Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use free AI image and video generator, Vivago AI. And right now I'm currently inside the Viva or Vivago AI platform. Basically, this is what you should be seeing on your end also. So to get started here, they have two options. You can either proceed with the website platform or you can join their Discord. So for this video, we're gonna utilize the website option and maybe I'm going to create a video regarding how to utilize this on the Discord. So please comment down below if you want a tutorial video on how to use Vivago on Discord. And then once you're in here, simply click on try for free. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is going to be the platform if you click try for free. And these are the products or videos from different creators. We have also their prompts right there. You can start creating at the start of the video. For example, you have text to video, image to video, and 4K enhance here. But before we get started, I want to log in or register first. So with that being said, I can just simply click on that button right there. Either continue with Google or continue with Discord. The choice is up to you. So I'm going to see you once inside. So welcome back to the video. Right now, I'm currently inside on Vivago. Nothing much has changed, just that I'm now currently logged in. Now to get started here, of course, we're going to utilize text to video. Afterwards, we're going to go image to video. And then, of course, 4K enhance. We also have image here. Basically, this is going to be text to image or image to text. Now let's get started with this one. Rather than starting with video, let's start with um, image rather. So text to image. If you click on the search bar or the prompt bar, you're going to have some um, designs here. For example, you can Change the composition, the viewpoint, the color, and you're going to have a preview on what it looks like. Especially for the hairstyle, this is pretty awesome because you can have your preview on what it looks like. Okay, so for this, I'm going to type in here a young girl in a village. Now for the hairstyle, I'm going to go with dreadlocks. For the color of the background, basically, I think I'm going to go with this one. A little bit more aqua. Composition. This is basically the filter. I want to go for Fujifilm um, viewpoint. I think I'm going to go with this one. POV, front view, satellite view. I think I'm going to go here with um, portrait. Or I'm looking about with ultra wide shot. This one right here. Emotions. Let's have a little bit more smile in there, right? So I'm not going to choose an environment because on my prom, I have a village. So you can choose a lot here, but I'm going to stick what I will have right here. Before I click on generate, there is an option here to upload your video or image. You can choose your aspect ratio here, but I'm going to retain myself by default by one by one. The settings right here, basically these are the negative prompt, wherein you can type here so the AI will know what to avoid. For example, I'm going to type in ugly, um, noisy, um, pixelated. And with that being said, the tags right here, we can choose a tag. Basically, tags are going to be useful once you publish this one in your own library. And then it will go to the Viva on um, Vivago AI workspace. Without being said, um, click on generate and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, these are going to be our results. And by the way, almost forgot about this one. You'll notice that I have four videos or ver um, photos right here. Now, to get four results, make sure you click on settings and there is going to be your image count. May it be one, two, three, or four. Right now, I have chosen four. To check on them individually, of course, you can just simply click on them. And you're going to see your prompt right there. You can edit your image, download it directly with no hassle. Of course, you can copy the prompt. This is applicable for other users. For example, if they saw your image and you do want to copy, they can just simply click on this one. Now publish. If you click on publish here, you're going to see that submission successful. It will be displayed on the homepage after approval. Basically, this image will be displayed in the Vivago AI landing page. If it's approved, of course. And last but not the least, we have the delete trash bin icon here. Basically, you will delete your generation. Now, I want to check something here. A young girl in a village. So this is a girl in the village. I have the dreadlocks right there. The aqua, the accent of the color. Fujifilm. We have it here, ultra wide shot. I think this is ultra wide shot and same goes with this one. Of course, we have the smile. Awesome, right? Let's try another sample. So for the next feature I want to talk about is editing the image. You heard me right. 
you can edit it inside as i mentioned earlier so i'm just gonna choose one here i think i'm gonna go with this um girl right here now i'm gonna click on edit right now and it will take me on this platform where basically it's gonna be inside your edit platform so with this one, you can repaint magic expand image enhance or basically um this is upscale and magic eraser so for repainting i want to show you how powerful this is i'm just gonna adjust the brush size i think i'm gonna place here let me just enlarge a little bit more i'm gonna place here a trunk of three you know a tree trunk or a three something like that i want to place it right here now for the prompt uh three something like that click on generate and let's see how it works here because sometimes it's going to be not as good as we imagine so i'm going to get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video right now this is going to be our new result with a tree trunk right there even though it's not literally a tree it's going to be a tree trunk so i think they need still need to update this but still a good option right now let's try magic expand i want to show you how powerful this is i can multiply this one by two as much as possible or meet in the halfway if i click on generate right now it will give me an option to expand this or zoom out so i'm gonna get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video right now we have it zoom out or expand in some other way and we have it right here so the girl's hands are inside the shorts we have the full view of the house or half view and we have some more grounding here awesome right so next feature image and hands and for this one, it's currently on maintenance. But basically how this works is, your image is going to be on the left side. You can upscale it by two times or four times. Basically, it's just one click of a button and your image should be upscaled. I have a few videos talking about upscaler enhancement. So please check it out. Again, it's currently on maintenance as of now, but it's just one click of a button. Okay? So magic eraser. So for magic eraser, um, pretty self-explanatory, but... Just increase your brush size right there you can use select like so for example i can select that click on erase and it's now working on to erasing those guys in the background so i'll get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video right now the people in the background have been completely removed awesome right so with this one you can simply download and have a new photograph now speaking about editing we can try some more options here for example i'm going to go back and try for free so we're done with image to image or image to text. Let's go now to video. Now once you're in video, you're going to have an option for text to video, image to video, and of course, 4K enhance. 4K enhance is basically upscaler. It will help you enhance any image you have on your computer, laptop, or Android devices, or even phones. So let's try first with text to video. Same prompt, a young girl in a forest. And with that, I'm going to go... Have fun with my negative prompts and the ugly noisy so i have a quality result right there so i have ugly i have noisy i'm gonna also add in pixelated so for the aspect ratio i'm gonna go with 16 by 9 or let's just retain with with one by one for motion strength motion strength is basically the movement of the subject inside your video and basically that's it so click on generate right now if you're satisfied or magic prompt Basically, this helps you start from scratch. Anyway, I'm going to generate this right now. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, we have this result. And to be honest, it took around 10 minutes to generate. So just this is going to be a take note for you. Anyway, if I hover my mouse, I have this perfect video. Now take note, this might not be the result you have on your end because I am using right now the negative prompts. So please don't forget to utilize negative prompts. This is a pretty powerful feature. Again, you can download it directly, copy the prompt. You can retry it right there if you're not satisfied, but for me, I am quite satisfied with what I have. I can publish right there, and I have published it successfully. Now, with that being said, let's try image to video now. Now, for image to video, I can just simply add a video. Put the settings is right there again for the negative prompts. And the camera control, we're gonna utilize this later. So I'm just going to upload an image. I'm going to choose one from my library. I think I'm going to use a photo I got from a long time ago that I actually really like. Give me a second here. I think I'm going to go with this Superman. Sorry about that. I think this is Spider-Man, right? Click on confirm. And with that, I'm now going to support it with a prompt. Because 
As I make videos regarding these tutorials, I always say, when you're trying to generate an image to video references, always enter a prompt. For example, we can simply type in a prompt, a young boy facing forward. Something like that. So AI can have a backup on how to identify the photo. Now speaking of settings, I'm going to make sure I have this on. And for camera control, this is just basically top to bottom. This is the movement. So I'm going to make sure that this is going to be around the top. For the left to right, this is going to be up to right now. For the zoom in and zoom out action, I think I'm going to go zoom in just a little bit. For the motion strength, I'm going to retain it as 7. So again guys, you do really have to copy whatever I did here. This is by my own preference. So I'm going to click on generate right now. And this will take a few minutes. And I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. That took roughly 4 to 5 minutes now. So if I click on this little boy right here, we have the movement. Again, we have the upward motion and the right mode motion. So I have a perfect image right here to video. Wherein the eyes and the ears, the smile is perfect. There is no distortion. So I'm not going to change anything as of now. By the way, you can also adjust the settings here. So please don't let me stop you. If you want to adjust the settings further and generate some more examples, please do so. So I'm not going to take much of your time. One last thing to take note of is going to be 4K Enhance. So basically 4K Enhance is upscaler for your videos. Simply upload any video here or select from history. You can also 4K Enhance your current um, generation by simply clicking on that button right there. And with that being said, it's currently lighting up and I'll see you once it's here. Hello there. Welcome back to the video. And that took roughly, to be honest, 15 minutes. But to compare the two, we have this awesome video with a 4K resolution. Now tell me, that isn't a pretty wonderful video, right? The enhance, the quality of it, it's pretty awesome. Comparing it with the previous one, it's a bit more blurry even though it's almost perfect. Comparing it with this one, it's much more realistic. Even the eyes is right there. Awesome, right? And basically that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.